Good evening. This is Akishwani Kohima. I'm Kahir Chisite with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to distribute more than one lakh appointment letters to newly inducted recruits tomorrow. Section 144 CRPC promulgated in Gezepe and Citrongse under Chumukedima following fresh tensions of a land dispute. HSSLC board exams to begin tomorrow. And government to conduct examination for recruitment of constables in Central Armed Police Forces in 13 regional languages. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will distribute more than one lakh appointment letters to newly inducted recruits under Rosgar Mela through video conferencing on 12th February 2024, Monday. On this occasion, the Prime Minister will also lay the foundation stone of Phase 1 of the integrated complex Karma Yogi Bhavan in New Delhi. The complex aims to promote collaboration and synergy amongst various pillars of Mission Karma Yogi. Rosgar Mela will be held at 47 locations across the country. The recruitments are taking place across central government departments and state governments and union territories supporting this initiative. The new recruits will be joining the government in various ministries and departments. The newly inducted appointees are also getting an opportunity to train themselves through Karma Yogi Praramd, an online module on the IGOT Karma Yogi portal, where more than 880 e-learning courses have been made available for anywhere, any device learning format. The Nagaland Board of School Education NBSE HSSLC examination 2024 will begin tomorrow. A total of 17,911 candidates will be appearing the HSSLC examination from 68 examination centers spread across the state. The candidates will be appearing the HSSLC in arts, commerce and science streams. 274 candidates among them will be sitting for compartmental examination from 20 centers. The HSLC examination will also begin from 13th February where 22,136 candidates will be appearing HSLC examination from 95 examination centers. 449 candidates are sitting for compartmental examination from 16 centers. The class 11 promotion examination 2024 shall also start tomorrow in the afternoon from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. 20,166 students have enrolled for the promotion examination in 185 registered higher secondary schools in the state. The NBSC wished the students good luck for the board examination. Chief Minister Nipurio also extended best wishes and good health to the students and urged them to study hard, stay focused, be confident and give one's best. Commissioner of Police Dimapur Kevi Tuto Sopye has promulgated prohibitory orders under Section 144 of CRPC in Diezephe and Citrongse villages under Chumukedima district following tensions of a land dispute that occurred on Saturday morning. The order comes with effect from 6 p.m. today till further orders. Earlier, the discord led to property damage including vandalism of cemeteries, village signboards, gates and a market shed as well as the burning of a house. Sopia informed that law enforcement authorities have contained the situation, with police personnel and district magistrate deployed to maintain order. The prohibitory order restricts assembly of more than five persons carrying little weapons and firearms including lathis, dagger or machete, sticks, spears, catapults or any other dangerous articles within Diezephe and Citrongse villages and along the road stretch from Singrijan village towards Ura village. Additionally, the Commission of Police has directed all arms license holders of Diezephe and Citrongse villages to deposit licensed arms to the nearest police station with immediate effect. Ministry of Home Affairs will now conduct Constable General Duty Examination for recruitment of constables in the Central Armed Police Forces CAPFS in 13 regional languages apart from Hindi and English. In a release, the ministry said that the examination will be conducted for around 48 lakh candidates in 128 cities across the country from 20th February to 7th March this year. The decision aims to increase the participation of local youth in the Central Armed Police Forces and promote regional languages. 
The Ministry further added, with this initiative, the youth across the country will have an opportunity to participate in the CAPFS Constable General Duty Examination in the mother tongue and make her career in the service of the nation. The languages included under this purview are Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Marathi, Malayalam, Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, Odia, Urdu, Punjabi, Manipuri and Konkani in addition to Hindi and English. This news comes to you from Akashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIR News Kohima. The High Level Committee HLC on One Nation One Election under the chairmanship of former President Ramnath Kovin held a meeting in New Delhi yesterday and reviewed work done since its constitution and the consultation process presently underway. Continuing with its consultation with political parties, the committee held interactions with a delegation from Dravida Munitra Kazagam party led by Member of Parliament P. Wilson. In the interactions, the party presented its views on the issue of holding simultaneous elections in the, in the country. President of Apna Dal, Sonelal and Minister of State for Commerce and Industries, Anupriya Patel also met Kovin and presented the views of her party. Former Chairman of the 15th Finance Commission, N. K. Singh, former Secretary General, Lok Sabha, Dr. Subhash C. Keshyap, and former Chief Vigilance Commissioner, Sanjay Kothari were also in attendance. Waka Deputy Commissioner Ajit Kumar Ranjan has informed that a mop-up exercise of demolition and clearance for removal of unauthorized structures within compensated land along NH61 under Waka District will be conducted tomorrow from 7 a.m. onwards. He said this is in continuation of earlier clearance exercises conducted on 19th and 30th June 2023 and 1st February 2024. The DC therefore asked the executive engineer of PWD, National Highway, PHED and Power Department and representatives of Lotha Hoho and Joint Action Committee Waka to be present during the exercise. With the ongoing indefinite bond called by organizations in Waka District, relaxations have been issued by Chamber of Commerce to open commercial activities on alternate days on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturday starting from 13 February from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. The Lota Students Union has also issued press release urging all educational institutions to shut down except for those appearing HSLC and HSSLC examinations as well as the teachers engaged in examination duties. Chief Minister Nipiryo will be inaugurating Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2024 tomorrow at the Nagaland Cricket Stadium Chumukidima. President All India Football Federation and Vice President Indian Olympic Association Kalyan Chobe and Head of Sales United Breweries Girish Shanoi will also be gracing the event. The event is being organized by Nagaland Olympic Association along with Department of Youth Resources and Sports Government of Nagaland. Kohima Deputy Commissioner Kumar Ramnikant has issued traffic advisory for commuters traveling along Kohima Jesami Road. The DC has advised commuters to take alternate route either via Chetheba or Zuketa to Kidima Priya Park till 16 February in view of the ongoing maintenance and repairing work of bridge at CH 38 plus 140 of Kohima Jesami Road under package 2 and for public safety. And now, to end the news, here are the main points once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to distribute more than one lakh appointment letters to newly inducted recruits tomorrow. Section 144 CRPC promulgated in Diazepe and Zitrongse under Chumukidima following fresh tensions of a land dispute. Each SSLC board exams to begin tomorrow. And government to conduct examination for recruitment of constables in Central Armed Police Forces in 13 regional languages. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.